How beautiful is that? If the stars were made to worship, then so will I. Hallelujah. I'm Pastor Mervin January, here to welcome you to Wednesday night Bible study. What does the Bible mean when it talks about Abraham hoping against hope? Have you ever found yourself in a situation that appears literally hopeless and totally insurmountable? And you thought back in the recesses of your mind, you know, that place where you hide things that you don't share or talk to other people about. And back here, you were saying, oh, I just don't know how I'm going to make it through this. In other words, how do we trust in God when it looks hopeless? This Wednesday night, March the 24th, 7 o'clock p.m., our Bible study topic deals with being forced to hope against hope. Basically dealing with those moments when we doubt God. I cut my hand the other day, but I never doubted that God is going to heal me. As a matter of fact, I'm so steeped in my faith that I said immediately out of my mouth before even putting a bandage on, I'm healed in Jesus name, even while the blood was still dripping out. That's the level of faith that you have to bring to the table when you come up against situations that sometimes make us feel hopeless. Now, this was not a hopeless situation, but it was a great example of my faith because what you do for the small stuff also works for the big stuff. Amen. Hallelujah. Joshua 5 and 13 says, and it came to pass when Joshua was by Jericho that he lifted up his eyes and saw a man standing there with his sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went up to this man and he said, are thou for us or for our adversaries? I'm trying to ask you the question, have you recognized God in your situation? Because sometimes we are so practical, we don't recognize God in the middle of our situation. When we're unable to discern the presence of God in our situation, it has a crippling effect on our lives. But I've got good news today for somebody because we're going to reveal some spiritual tools on how to deal with, cope through, and recover from hopelessness. And as we used to say when I was a child, it takes one to know one. So in other words, as a person who has had to overcome hopelessness, I'm fully qualified to deal with your level of hopelessness. I'm Pastor Mervyn January, flanked in the spirit by my beautiful wife, First Lady Evangelist Monique January, every Wednesday night, 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. By the grace of God, we're going to be here, and we hope to see you there as well. And until we see you again, may the Lord bless you real good. Hallelujah. And just know that we love you.